What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today is day two ice camping. If you guys have not seen episode one, it is our last video. And we are out here for 48 hours ice camping again with our buddy John from Mindac Outdoors. As you can tell from the intro, they're on their way on the snowmobile. Now you're asking probably why are they doing that? Well, a couple things. Last night's bite was so incredibly good that we actually ran pretty low on minnows. So they are gonna go ahead and go get some more minnows. And then also, I think they're gonna get another thing of propane because we do not wanna run out. We did not run out last night, but we had one that was only about half full um, going into the trip. So we're gonna just get a new one for that. So that way we're good for the trip. But that is kind of what we got going on. We're out here for a whole another day. It is a lot better weather, I'll tell you that much. Um, yesterday was super windy. Today, pretty calm for the most part. Overcast, fish should be snapping. And yeah, I'm excited. This is the most time I've ever spent out on this lake. So last night was good. I mean, like I said, we ran out of minnows, had a lot of fish, but today I'm really hoping we see some big ones. Usually I'd say eight out of 10 times I come out here, I see a fish over 27. And yesterday we saw nothing even remotely close to that. So I'm hoping today the big fish wanna eat. I know they had to have been in the area, so we'll see what happens, but I guess now it's just me for a little bit until those guys come back. So I'm gonna go ahead, go back in the shack, see if we can catch a fish while those guys are getting some more minnows. I can have three lines in Wisconsin, as you guys probably know that. And well, I got three lines. I got the iFish Pro still in here from last night. I got my dead stick rod here. And then I got John's dead stick rod in here as well. Um, as you can tell, there's probably a fish, maybe you can and can't tell, but there's a fish on that one right now. So I wanted to set it up. I've been sitting in here with the windows closed and it's crazy guys this water is so clear um with the windows closed i can see all these fish it is just about noon right now and i'm just like looking down the hole and i'm seeing tons of walleyes come in and i only have three minnows which are the three that i have on right now that's crazy so i've been watching them for the last like 20 minutes i've seen like four or five and this one decided to hit so go ahead go over to john's rod and check it out here he definitely should be on. He was just pulling some drag. Tighten this back up. Let's see what we got. Well, I know it's a walleye because I saw him. Well, let's see how big he is, I should say. Feels good. Oh. <laughs> that one just popped too. There's a walleye on it. It's hilarious. Or maybe I got the line from that. I could have the line from that. Either way, got ourselves a walleye here. I have such a mess right now. But first walleye of day number two. Well, technically I caught one this morning, but that was for the previous video. If you guys haven't seen episode one, make sure to go check it out. But first one in the shack for today's video. Not a very big one, but good start. That's awesome. Seeing them in here, like, just coming in and eating midday is hilarious. That's something I haven't really done, mainly because I get here too late and it's already prime time and I gotta set up and do all that fun stuff. But we're here, we're watching walleyes eat. This is hilarious. Oh yeah. How was that? It was good, man. We got the supplies. I'll tell you what, these little uh, heated grips you got here on the handlebars, that is nice. And the automatic back massager. Yeah, get in there. Oh. Well, the boys are back. They have come bearing gifts. Uh, I did just inform them that I caught some walleyes while they were gone. That noon bite o'clock is on. So I think now, considering the conditions are nice, I think we're gonna set the underwater camera up and see if we can get some underwater strikes considering I was just sightseeing them in the shack. So that's kind of the game plan for the midday bite. And then eventually here, we're gonna set up the iFish Pros uh, for the evening, maybe some daytime flags, you never know. And uh, just kind of catch some fish here on out. So boys are back, beautiful day. Let's get this video started. Oh my goodness. A nice little school of them coming in it looks like. I got one by me and one just swam right past Nick. I think I'm just gonna let this fall and hit bottom. <laughs> and I landed right on that minnow that we had down there from last night. We had so many fish in the shack. We've got a couple minnows that got 
dropped and bitten off of our hooks. Well, just had two or three walleye come through. Maybe four walleye, hard to say if they were all different, but for sure two different ones at once. One kind of approached the live bait and one came over by me. Oh, he's back. He's going right towards the next live bait. I'm just gonna give it a little, little tap. Not much, not much at all. Just a little tap, get that middle moving. Oh, this one might eat, this one might eat. Come on. Oh my goodness, that is so crazy. So cool to see that. Let's see if I can get him to turn on a tantrum here, maybe. Even though these fish aren't super active right now, very cool to see them on the underwater camera and good to see that they're in our, oh, he snapped at it. Oh my gosh, how did he not eat that? How did he not eat that? That was crazy. Oh my, he just, oof, it was so fast. So fast, he just striked at it. Maybe they are active. I was just gonna say, it's cool to just see them in our area already. And a lot of times we gotta wait till the sun goes down just to get them in this spot. They're gonna be coming in from the deep and then they're pushing into this weed line at night. But if they're coming out here midday, maybe we'll have an earlier bite. I'm hoping to get a really good jigging bite for you guys. It's something that Nick and I just don't do a lot of just because the, the tip ups and the iFish pros, they're so effective. But if we just sat in here Man, we probably would smack walleyes. Oh, there he is again. That is so cool. Okay, he's not eating this, but he is kind of eyeball. Oh, 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 oh. He's definitely eyeballing Nick's live bait here. I think they're starting to get a little frisky, you know? I don't, I don't think they're like full on feed mode yet, but very cool. Well, you can see it just drilled some holes. Today we are rocking the Ion Alpha. I have been switching back and forth. You guys have seen me with the Ion Alpha before and I've also been using the Eskimo E40. And you guys probably are wondering like why I use one one day and why one the other day. Well, I'll tell you why to start why I'm using the Ion Alpha. That's because uh, we're chasing giant fish and giant fish usually like to come up a little easier in a big hole. And I do have a 10 inch uh, blade for this Ion Alpha versus the Eskimo. I only have an eight inch So that is one reason why I'm using the big boy today Plus as the ice gets a little thicker. I tell you what this is one of the best augers on the market We've been using it for the last three years now and this thing has just been I mean, it's been incredible really this thing cuts through like butter and it's super reliable But it's that time to uh, set some flags for the day And I know John Lehman who is behind the camera is super pumped about that because he literally just set one And I tell you what about two minutes into his flag being in that water He caught like a 32 inch pike which if I caught that I'd be like, oh, this is pretty sweet But with him catching that he hates pike so that was pretty awesome. He's a little nervous to be setting his flags right now during the day because he doesn't want to catch any more of those. But if I catch a few, that'd be pretty cool. Brandon's in the shack jigging still. So yeah, let's go set some flags and see what happens. Nick's lying. He also hates pike. What do we got here? We got first tip up of the evening. On the old iFish Pro, we have 39 medium light drench from frostbite for our rod we're gonna just see what's going on underneath the ice here oh boy he's on there why does that look like it's digging actually kind of looks good uh oh the camera battery's dying 
This is nerve wracking. He's to be right. Changed. He's right there, though. I don't even know if he knows he's hooked yet. He's behaving. Whatever it is. A decent little walleye. A little fatty. A little chunk. Show you guys quick, nothing too crazy. A little bit more of a belly than some of the ones that we've been catching, but classic, like 15, 15 and a half inch walleye. We're gonna get this out of his snout and get him back down there. We're gonna change that camera battery. We're gonna go back in the shack where it's warm. It's actually not too bad out here today, guys. Yesterday, brutal with that wind. Today, not so bad. Beauty of colors. Let's go back in there, let's warm up, get some more fish. Oh my god, holy! What? Oh my, what the? What, what was that? What just happened? Did you see it on that? I, no. I was reeling in. This is a pike, but I was reeling in my bait, and this thing comes screaming oh. up the hole, like he was in my hole. Oh my god. And then I sent it back down, and he just hit it. That was sweet. That was oh incredible. Gosh. There's another one down here. Pike? Mm hmm Really? Mm hmm That was crazy, dude. Scared me almost. Like, <laughs> he just came out of nowhere. Decent little pike, too. I'll tell you what. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why a walleye can't act the way that pike just did. That thing is Man. disgusting, Nick. Yeah, that thing has <laughs> gone through some things. Yeah, look really at how dark, mangled he is right here. Long, skinny pike. Not even close to the one you caught last night, Brandon. That no. was Wow, what a freaking catch though. That, that was, was a cool fight. See you, buddy. See ya. Oh boy. Nice. Wow, that one cranked the thing. Cranked it. <laughs> that was sweet. First one not on artificial. Or wow. First one not on a minnow. Wow. On, on artificial. Congrats. That's Thanks. an accomplishment there. Way to go. Oh, Brad. Thanks. Well, gold tantrum on. And we catch a nice little walleye. That is pretty sweet. Yeah, pretty much everything has come on some form of presentation with a minnow. Whether it's been a sucker or a fathead or John's Creek Chub. Mm -hmm. That one came on the old tantrum. Golden color, 60 millimeter. Seems like they kind of like that. Just, I don't know, made the switch. Had like three or four come in that were really interested. And that one just took her home we got ourselves a little after dark tip up could this be the first big one or will it be another 15 incher got him not feeling like a giant hey it's better it's not, yeah it might be better that's not bad that is also a digger rod oh this is so it's not the drench Come on up here, buddy, and come say hi. Come on up here. Wow. Nope. Same as the others, pretty much. Choked that thing. Decent little walleye. This is the first one that we've got after dark on a tip-up. Had a few earlier, and this one decided to come by and say hi. Ooh, that guy was excited. Well, folks, brats are done. The fishing tonight. Wow. Talk about a change of pace, man. Yesterday, we crushed fish. I mean, crushed fish. Tonight, definitely some bigger ones. A lot, uh, a little bit more bigger activity, seems like. But, yeah. Got some, uh, ooh, ooh, let me see that chunk. Oh, John asked for it next. Wow. <sighs> That's Sorry, fair. Brad. Nope, that's fair. So, yep, yeah, as you can see, the Johnsonville glizzies are done. We yeah, have not ate. Yeah, three. 
This is gonna be a move. Brats are loaded up. Rods are in the water. Got the live scope down there. We're just waiting for a giant. Tonight has been stressful, you guys. I don't know how much of this you guys are gonna see, uh, just because we've lost quite a few fish. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Nick's got one on there, just chilling, looking at it, thinking about it. Mm. The problem is we've seen that a lot. That one might. That one might actually. He did. He did? No. I think he did. Oh. I'm gonna open the bail. He might not have, but I think he did. He either followed it down or he has it. No, he's swimming away right now and it's not moving. Okay, well. Maybe. I don't know. No, oh, he's, got he's got to have that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Something's happening. I'm going to get out of the way here. Let's go, Nick. Woo! Change of pace. Take a bite for good luck. Oh, oh boy. Woo! It's happening. I'm hungry. The fish are hungry. Ooh. Smallest walleye I've ever caught out here. Let's go. Oh, look at this one on the bottom. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, that's probably the first fish in the last three hours. It's about John's... the size of my Johnsonville. <laughs> fish are maybe starting to bite here. We've seen a little bit more activity on the live scope. We've gotten definitely way more flags in the last, like, 30 minutes to an hour or so here we definitely went through a lull oh boy anyways we're gonna eat these brats we're gonna wait for another flag or maybe just maybe we'll get a giant right here in the shack clear it out it's running right at brandon's minnow it's ideal Well, we just got done eating. Oh, and the old poverty dead stick rattle reel just got hit. So open up the bale, let them run a little bit. Let's check it out. Definitely have my line. Do I? Yep, yeah, I felt that hook set. Oh, giants. Oh, I take back what I said about the other one being the smallest walleye. This one might be the smallest walleye. <laughs> Love it. Got ourselves another flag. Things have been getting a little crazy in the shack. We have seen some ginormous fish on the live scope. And just to make sure we weren't getting, you know, a little delusional, we have been out here for a long time. We actually decided to take a very bright headlamp and just look down the hole. And we happened to see two fish that I'd say were probably 27, 28 inch plus. They were giants. Maybe we've got a wave of big ones coming through. Got them. How's that feel? Uh, not giant. Not giant. Not a little guy. Brutal. So, <laughs> those 27, 28 inches, huh? I don't get it. There are so many big fish below us, and this is what hits. That's the smallest wall I've caught out here. Ah, oh. you know, there's ones right underneath the shack that are about four, maybe even five times longer than that. Ah, <laughs> oh. this is stressful, guys. We are really trying to grind out. A big old walleye for you. Maybe it'll happen. Maybe we're just kings at catching 14 to 17 inch walleye. Well, folks, it is currently 12.40 a.m. The boys are getting pretty tired. Today's been kind of all over the place. Yesterday was pretty outstanding for fish catches. And today has been fairly lackluster. We've definitely caught some fish, but uh, yeah, I don't even remember the last time we picked up a camera. So we are getting ready to go to bed. We did actually change the iFish Pros to tip ups. The reason for that is because the wind did pick up a little bit and our reels are starting to ice up. So if we do get a fish to come in, we don't want the reels to be all iced up and 
have those fish feeling tension as they're pulling the line. So that's the reason for switching to tip ups. We are going to take shifts and see if we can possibly get a flag later this evening. Who knows, no giants yet, maybe it'll happen. If not, we'll see you guys in the morning. She's warm, super warm today. <laughs> How do we feel about this one? Do we think there's a fish? A fish! Oh boy! Ooh. Good morning, walleyes. How's it feel? You know, I think it feels like everything we've caught so far. Mm, that's tough. Yeah. But, I can't complain with catching fish. Ooh. Born in gold! It's baby. chunky. Oh. Yeah, well, you know, same size. I guess this one is a little chunkier, but first one of the morning, probably gonna be the last one of the morning. We kind of made an executive decision as of coming outside that it's freaking cold, and we got some stuff to do. We gotta take down all the rest of the tip-ups, and we gotta take down all the shack and do all that really fun stuff. So this will probably be the last fish that you guys will see in the video probably record a few more things from here on out but last fish nothing big on this trip can't get them all the time i know that's what we're usually chasing on the channel and you guys like seeing some big walleyes but we we're camping we we're having a fun time and still sliming a lot of fish it's all about making good memories with a great group of guys that you share the same passion with oh it just gets a guy going see ya get down with it. God, look at all that stuff. Why did we bring so much stuff? <laughs> but at least. At least it's done, right? Well, and we have a snowmobile. Yeah, we got a snowmobile. This is clutch. Well, guys, we've got a lot of work left to do still, but everything is taken down and we just got to put it back into the sleds, ride everything back to the vehicle. We have an awesome time out here. Unfortunately, we did not get any bigs, but in two days, we absolutely clapped fish. So we hope you guys really enjoy the last two videos that were out here. We spent 48 hours on the ice, absolutely hammered fish. And for us, we were chasing giants. So it doesn't feel like a completed mission, but for you guys back at home, you're probably like, man, those guys destroyed out there. We really did. We just have very high expectations. And obviously we wanted to catch a giant for you guys. Unfortunately, it just doesn't always happen. But we're gonna get everything all packed up. Again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Big thanks to John for making the trip, coming all the way out here with us. We had a lot of fun with you, buddy. Hey. Hey. Let's go. I'm sorry I brought my bad fish luck. Yeah, you know what's gonna happen as soon as you leave, right? <laughs> yeah, you got, these guys are gonna be catching megas as soon as I leave. I just have terrible luck with uh, either not catching fish or catching small fish and not the big ones. So sorry I put that upon you, <laughs> but you guys are gonna clap in the next video. Well, you heard John. Hopefully we get some good luck on our side here in the future. It's, we've got some warm temperatures actually coming, so we'll see how we're gonna round out the end of the season, but I'm excited. Fishing in the warmth is gonna be great. Might be some interesting conditions, but hopefully you guys are getting out there and enjoying some good times on the ice as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up for us. Leave a comment down in the comment section as to what you guys thought, if there's anything that you guys wanna see while we still have ice out here this year. We do have at least one big trip still planned for this year, so you're gonna have to stay tuned for that as well. If you guys are new to our channel, make sure to hit subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Tight lines from NBA.